One of the biggest challenges of in-person events is getting your attendees to the right place at the right time. Today, we're going to talk about how to use the Interact Maps feature to make sure that your attendees always know where they need to be. I'm Kerry Plowman, and today we'll be discussing how you can make the most of Maps. To begin, the first thing you'll need is a base diagram of your floor plan. You will want to make sure that it covers the floor spaces of the areas that you will be using and omit the spaces that will not be part of your event. In this example, we removed all the non-essential areas to keep the base map simple and easy to follow. Once you have uploaded your map, it is now ready to receive the interactive capabilities. Now what I mean by this is that you can position a location pin on your map that represents a session room, an exhibitor, or something else of importance to your attendees, like a restroom, a lost and found location, or even a coffee station. This is a very simple process. You simply add a location pin on the map and identify it. Let's make one pin for a session room and another pin for an exhibitor booth location. And lastly, a pin location for a restroom. This is all that is needed for your map to become interactive. Your attendees can now simply navigate to a session and click to find its location. Or click on an exhibitor profile for their booth location. As a pro tip, you can also include this location pin as part of your sponsorship packages. If the attendee has already navigated to the floor plan in the event app, then they can use the handy filter to locate each type of location pin on the map as well. So creating an interactive map is as easy as uploading your floor plan and adding in your location pins, and your attendees will be well on their way to where you want them to be.